Hi everyone, it's always a great day over here. While track season is relaxed, I do not feel as rushed to champion our favorite United States athletes on the channel, which also includes the Jamaicans as well. I looked at my catalog earlier and realized a certain athlete who has not been talked about for a while, which was Jenna Prandini. And I have not covered her much because the 100 meters is not really her race. However, she really held her own during the year. And while I talk about Prandini, I'd also want to compare her across the queen of the 200 meters, which is Sharika Jackson. But let's first get started with Prandini's overall season and performance. Now Prandini's main event is the 200 meters, but she held her own in the 100 meters during the year. Her average time in all her 100 meter events was 11.12, which would put her right behind Shikari Richardson for the year, which is not bad at all. And if the 100 meters was ran in a curve, well the picture you see in front of you would turn into what you see here. The women's 4x100 meter event at the championships was a great example and illustration of that. Prandini definitely has the ability and frame to work the curve in a relay in the 4x100 and the 4x200 in my opinion. But let us look at some of her competitions in 2022 by starting with the 100 meters in which she placed top 3 out of 6 competitions which is pretty good for her. You had the LSU Invitational back in late April where she came in 3rd place in her event with a time of 11.15. However, she is listed as 4th ranked overall in all the heats combined, coming right behind Favor of Philly, Makia Briscoe, and Aaliyah Hobbs. And what is interesting is Shikari Richardson is still the LSU record holder with a time of 10.75 back in 2019. Overall, not too bad for Prandini at LSU. Then, in early June, Prandini came in second place at the Star Athletic Sprint Series with a time of 10.75. She ended up beating T.T. Terry while Shikari Richardson ended up coming in first place with a time of 10.73. But what I'd like to note is the wind reading of 4.3. So feel free to interpret those results however you please. And finally, Prandini's last competition in the 100 meters took place in Berlin during one of the World Athletic Circuit meets where she came in third place in early September with a time of 11.16. Coming right behind Daryl Nita, who was one of Great Britain's fastest runners, and second place was Celera Barnes, whose time has been all over the place this season. But overall, it has been her best season as she literally just turned pro. I expect a much more consistent season for Barnes next year, assuming she remains healthy, sticks to the proper diet, and the right type of training. And you might think it's easy, but it's very hard. Now, at a glance for Prandini, not bad finishing top three out of six 100 meter events in 2022. My thoughts are the following. It's great she could run the 100 meters. No one is complaining. And if she wants to get better at it, maybe a bit more strength training workouts, but given her build and as a much seasoned athlete, you really have to strike the right balance there. Now switching our focus to the 200 meters, which is truly her event, she placed top three in six out of 10 200 meter competitions during the year, which is very good. Average time in all her competitions, including heats and semifinals combined was 22.42, which would have put her between Elaine thompson Hera and Munjinga Kambunji when compared to the championship Oregon 2022 standings. Obviously, Prandini did not qualify to participate in the finals, even though she ran an amazing time of 22.8. Because simply put it, she was in the fastest heat, where they took the two best times in which right in front of her in the semifinal heat was Sharika Jackson, who ran an amazing time of 21.67. Next was Amanitu Sini, 
who finished with a time of 22.4. And lastly, Munjinga Kambunji, who finished with a time of 22.5. But let's take a look at three of her top six competitions in the 200 meters this season. We will start with the earliest one being the LSU Invitational in late April. She placed first with a time of 22.45, beating Julian Afrit, who has a bright future, and Talifa Diggs, who is known for her amazing strength in the 400 meters. And I bet some of you did not know that Diggs could run the 200 meters. Well, now you know. Not as fast as Abby Steiner, though, but Diggs has a year left of school, and her speed is drastically improving as we speak. And focusing back to Prandini's next competition was in the Star Athletic Sprint Series, which took place in early June. She came in first place beating Shania Collins and Natalie White. Prandini's time was 22-1. And the next competition we have for her took place late June at the Toyota Outdoor Championships, where she came in third place with the same time of 22-1 falling right behind first place Abby Steiner, where Steiner ran with an amazing time of 21.77, which made her the fastest woman in the 200 meters going into the year. And there will be a dedicated video on Steiner's time in the second channel called Jacob Unleashed. So make sure you are subscribed. And while I am still talking about the Toyota race, second place was Tamara Clark. Now, with all those items mentioned, you might ask, where does Sharika Jackson fall against Prandini? The queen in the 200 meters ran a time of 21.67 at the championships, even breaking Abby Steiner's record time of 21.77 earlier this year. Prandini stacked amongst all the ladies' best times in the championships, ranked in top eight, even coming right in front of Abby Steiner at 22.15 versus Prandini's time of 22.8. Right in front of Prandini, you had Sharika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Tamara Clark, and Dina Asher Smith, Elaine Thompson Hera, Aminin Tusini, and Munjinga Kambunji. And these are pretty fast ladies where Prandini to hang above top 10 is still very impressive. But one of the hardest challenges I have to deal with as a content creator is to try and be practical. The top two runners in the 200 meters, Sharika Jackson and Shelly and Fraser Price are in a league of their own. Tamara Clark is definitely up there, but she needs time to build consistency before I can put her in the Sharika Jackson and Shelly and Fraser Price camp. Jenna Prandini, however, is still a threat, especially in the European and US circuit, by enough to place top three in most competitions. But I honestly think right now athletes need to focus on beating and chipping away on your personal best and not worrying too much about Sharika and Shelly. Overall, Prandini, in my perspective, had a great season. A third of her best times occurred during the year, which shows remarkable improvements. Her average in the 200 meters was 22.42, if she can take a tenth of a second off her average time next season, well, it would be very impressive. She could definitely end up in the championships going into next year and most certainly finish top eight in the Diamond League, assuming Puma gets her in the competitions early because those events are not cheap. Regardless, Prandini joins Sharika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, and Abby Steiner on Team Puma, which makes this group interesting to watch going into next year. Regardless, let me know your thoughts on what you think about Prandini down below in the comment section. I will see you guys later. So, if you liked this video, then check out the videos right above or visit our short clip playlist